Hope you all are keeping well. I'm Shade Slayer and welcome to Esports in 5. In this show, we take a look at all the latest happenings in the world of esports in under 5 minutes. We have something new to share. We are now on Loco. Could you for once be professional and not speak in between shots? Or steal my thunder? As I was saying, Esports in 5 will now be on Loco as well. Without further ado, let's begin. Team IND has released its BGMI roster. The roster consisted of Snacks, Kratos, Slayer, Daljeet SK, Atanki, and Trance. Shortly after this, Velocity Gaming announced its brand new BGMI roster with some familiar faces. Yup, they have signed four members from the release team IND roster, Snacks, Kratos, Atanki, and Daljeet SK. The team will now represent Velocity Gaming at the BGIS 2021. We wish the team all the very best under the new banner. From BGMI to Free Fire, we have more roster news this week. Orangutan Gaming has signed the FFIC 2021 Champions Team Elite as its official Free Fire roster. And the new roster will be called Orangutan Elite. The roster consists of Jaunty, Pahadi, Killer, Iconic and RDP. We wish the team all the very best under the new banner. The Penta Invitational Free Fire concluded last week and boy what a tournament it was. The tournament started on the 22nd November and after four action-packed days, TSG Army were crowned champions and took home 2.5 lakh rupees. Nigma Galaxy secured second and took home 1 lakh 25,000 rupees and Godlike finished third and won 75,000 rupees. TSM FTX finished fourth and took home 30,000 rupees. TSG Legend 07 was the top fragger of the tournament with 42 kills and took home 20,000 rupees. Congratulations to all the winners. The playoffs of the Penta Amateur League Valorant concluded last weekend. The playoffs took place from the 26th to the 28th of November and had some exciting matches. In the quarterfinals, Chemical X went up against Reactionist, Iyengar Hot Bakery Buns against God Particles, Reckoning Infinity faced Resilience, and Nogas Esports went up against Five Leaf Clover. The four teams which made it to the semi finals were Reactionist, God Particles, Reckoning Infinity, and Nogas Esports. In the semi finals, Reactionist faced God Particles and Reckoning Infinity faced Nogas Esports. Both God Particles and Nogas Esports beat their opponents with a scoreline of 2 0 to reach the finals. The finals of the Penta Amateur League Valorant started with an amazing music performance by singer songwriter Shushan Satija. God Particles picked up the first two maps, Bind and Breeze, with a scoreline of 13 5 and 13 9, respectively. Nogas Esports, however, was not ready to give up just yet. They made a comeback in third map split and won it with a scoreline of 13-9. God Particles made quick work of the fourth map Ascent and won it with a scoreline of 13-7 with a clutch from Scar God. So, God Particles are your champions of the Penta Amateur League Valorant. Knight Rider from God Particles was the MVP of the tournament with 169 kills. The national finals of the fourth edition of Red Bull MEO is scheduled from the 3rd to the 5th of December 2021. The tournament features three gaming titles, BGMI, Teamfight Tactics and World Cricket Championship. The prize pool of the BGMI tournament will be up to one Bitcoin and the prize pool shall be determined by the total number of kills takedowns. Additionally, the winners of all three gaming titles will also get an opportunity to watch the 2022 Formula 1 Austrian Grand Prix at the Red Bull Ring. Yep, it's my favorite. Ah, I know, I have to go to the but I have to play in the tournament. I have to go to the Yeah, I'm so sad to even scream at him. So, I'm just gonna shut his mouth and move on. The finals of the Free Fire Asia Championship 2021 concluded last weekend, and HQ Esports from Vietnam won the title and bagged $80,000. GBX Esports and CGGG finished second and third and won $50,000 and $30,000 respectively. There were three Indian teams, Total Gaming Esports, PVS Gaming, Desi Gamers, who participated in the planes of the tournament. However, none of them qualified. FFIC 2021 Champions Team Elite, who had qualified to the grand finale prior to the planes, finished eighth and won $15,000. Krafton has finally announced a new schedule for the Battlegrounds India Series 2021. 
according to the new date announcements. The tournament will start on the 4th of December 2021 with the in-game qualifiers and conclude with the grand finale on 16 Jan 2022. As a lead-up to BGIS, Crafton also revealed The Grind, which will be a two-week event featuring 32 invited teams, which will serve as a practice session for the teams. In a new turn of events, the Chinese Ministry of Industry and Information Technology has restricted Tencent from updating its games and applications until further notice. Tencent has assured that it is working with Chinese authorities overseeing compliance inspections. Well, that's that. We'll keep you updated as more information comes in. And we're done. Is there something that we missed out on? Do let us know in the comments below. As always, follow us on our social media handles and like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon as we have a lot of exciting things lined up. Join us on our Discord server and visit our platform for more updates. Links are in the description below. We are also on the Pentai Sports channel on Loco, so make sure to check it out and give us a follow there as well. That's it from me this time, I'll see you next week.